I want to welcome you here to the Thunder Bay Inn, Ed. Thank Appreciate you, very much. you spending the time here. Uh, we went through the place, and you know it's a 111 year old inn, and I uh, look forward to showing you around. <laughs> This building was built in 1909 and by Brunswick Calder Bulky Lumber Company, an independence lumber company. They ran this until 1944 when Henry Ford, at the age of 81, bought this and converted it to an inn. So what I like to tell people is think of this 111 year old building as a mini mall back in the day. Was this the general store then or it was a company store? It was a company store and uh, the, there were, in this picture you see about 40 logging homes. They were all on oh, cedar yeah. cribbing yeah. and they were all OEM property of Brunswick and every street in Big Bay, people don't, doesn't resonate often, uh, are named after Brunswick executives. It's almost hard to believe that Ford, by the 40s, was still using a lot of wood in production of their cars. It's funny you should say that because when he converted these rooms, he, everything was decorated, with the exception of his room, of course, in steel beds, steel dressers, steel uh, desks. I think it's always a little surprising to folks up here in the UP with, with how so blue collar but there was also this major touch of the elite and the high stratus crowd in the Upper Peninsula even a hundred years ago too. I gotta tell you that in addition to the history of the lumber company, we are celebrating what we uh, call the affinity of all those people you're talking about. I see right here, you've got Last year's number one bestseller, talking about anatomy murder, yep. this year's, we hope, number one motion picture. There you so go. you can just see how quick it was turned around from book to movie. Seven Academy of Work, that's right, in one year they did all the filming. That's the first time that Hollywood had ever come to a site, kept everybody there until all the filming was. And I heard there was even talk about doing it somewhere else instead of here, but they were really determined that they were gonna do it up here. You got connections to Ford, Hollywood, lumber, UP history. It's all right here and you can draw people in whatever area of interest oh, yeah, they have. Often in the restaurant, people come up to me and say, hey, you're really cool, blah, blah, <laughs> blah. And what my response to them is, this place has good bones. It's 111 years old. It hasn't moved a quarter inch. And what we're trying to do is share that with the public, right? I'm a servant, if you will, to this history.